Hello friends! I'm back to continue with my tutorial in mathematics. We are in the operations of integers and I am true with addition and subtraction. This time I am going to continue with multiplication of integers. But before I will do that, I'd like to shout out again always I have to do this. Um, shout out to my YouTube subscribers and viewers, my TikTok followers, and uh, my Facebook friends. You are, I believe, you are there supporting me even when uh, in Facebook several times I have to shout out as though you do not listen but it's all right I know you are there supporting me so once more I'd like to call on parents grandparents guardians and students who will be needing this to support your child or if it is a student who is reviewing with me uh, I'm very sure you will need this whatever level you are now whether you are in grade 6, grade 7, up to grade 12 or even in college you always need the idea on how to perform operation of integers. So once more, I have to say, I am going to give you again examples, try to find out what have been there on the changes of the numbers so that it will be easier for you to say right away whether your answer will be positive or negative just like in addition and in subtraction so i need to formulate your own rule it must be your own rule i have always to emphasize on that because if it is the rule of the other people if it is my rule uh, it might be very difficult to recall but if it is yours, then you can always say, ah, oh, this is what I have. I have taken or understood on the lesson. Thank you. Let us work on examples again. So you can find out what result uh, we will have, especially on the signs of the product once we multiply integers. Take note that the numbers we are multiplying are called factors and the result is considered a product. Let us take now example number one. Two times five will give us a result of 10. Negative three times negative four will give us a result of positive 12 and negative 7 times a negative 6 will give us a positive 42 8 times 10 will give us 80 and negative 15 times 2 is equal to 30 so what did you notice on our result Multiplying positive and a positive will give you a positive. Multiplying a negative times a negative will also give you a positive product. Thus we can write a simple rule here that a positive times a positive will give you positive. A negative times a negative is also equal to a positive. Very simple. I hope that you will always remember that. Let us take now set B of our examples. 
So what do you notice now on the factors? It is a combination of negative and a positive, a positive and a negative. Example number one then, a negative four times three will give you a negative 12. Four times a negative five is equal to a negative 40. Negative 10 times 6 will give us a negative 60. Negative 7 times 7 is equal to negative 49. 9 times negative 2 is equal to negative 18. So what must be the rule we are going to follow when multiplying unlike signed integers? That the positive times a negative is equal to a negative and a negative times a positive is also equal to. Let us take another set of examples. This time you can see that we do not have only two factors, but there are three. Some have four, so you can have several factors. So what do we really mean by multiplying numbers of the same signs? The first examples I have given you, we've been talking only about two factors. But this time there are already three or there are four. So, there could still be changes in our rule. Let us see example number 1. 2 times 5 is 10. Times negative 3 is equal to a negative 30. In number 2, negative 3 times negative 4 is equal to positive 12 as is stated in our first discussion, but there is another factor to be multiplied and that is negative 2. So 12 times a negative 2 will give us then a negative 24. Number 3, a negative 7 times a negative 6 is positive 42. Positive 42 times negative 1 is negative 42. Times negative 2 is equal to a positive 84. Okay. Example number 4. A negative 8 times 10 is a negative 80. Times a negative 1 is equal to positive 80. Then final example, negative 15 times negative 2 is positive 30. Positive 30 times negative 2 is equal to negative 60. Negative 60 times negative 2 is equal to positive 120. So, is it still correct to say that if we have like signed numbers, the result is positive, no more, as you can see in example number two. But in example number one, we have a negative 30, but we have positive times positive times negative. In example number three, there are four, one, two, three, four. So we can say that multiplying the same sign numbers is equal to positive. But why is it that in example number 2, the result is equal to negative? You have to count the number of negative factors. If the number of negative factors... result to an odd number, your answer must be negative.
while if you have to result into what we call even factors, even number of factors, the result is equal to positive. So look at number one. One is an odd number, so you can see that our result is negative. Number two, we have how many factors? One, two, three negative factors. What is three? Three is an odd number, therefore the result is equal to negative. In number three, we have one, two, three, four. Four is an even number, therefore the result is positive. So with number four, number five, there are also four negative factors, and four is even, so our result must be positive. Uh, by the way, this parenthesis in here could also mean an operation of multiplication. So it's not only the times uh, sign that will mean multiplication, uh, sign of groupings would also mean a multiplication operation. So with all of this, I wish you good luck again. Hope you will remember these things whenever you will be working with operation of numbers as um, even in polynomials there are signed numbers there so I hope that you can apply what you have taken in our tutorial this time. Good luck! Till next time!